in this Microsoft Word quick tip, I want to show you a little known feature in Microsoft Word that enables you to add text anywhere you want on the document. So as you probably know already, Microsoft Word is generally kind of picky about where you can type text. I have the flashing cursor here encouraging me to type right there in line in the paragraph. But what if I want to type down here at the bottom of the page? If I click down there at the bottom, it doesn't really do anything. I'm still typing up here toward the top. I could tap enter on the keyboard a few times and then type. And I can also do some things like center the text. I could align the text to the right. There are some options I have, but Word is fairly rigid about where I can put my text. Some of you know, of course, about insert text box. That's a nice feature to let you put text just about anywhere you want. Once you have your text box, you can click and drag and put it where you'd like it to be, and then click to release it. But in this video, I want to show you another easier and quicker way to put text exactly where you want it on the screen. The trick is you just double click where you want to add text. So I'll double click here, and now look, the cursor is flashing where I double clicked, and I can go ahead and type. And so this is a pretty handy way to add text wherever you need it to be in Microsoft Word. Now what's really happening when I do that? When I double click and then start typing, what Microsoft Word did is it adjusted automatically some of my tab settings. You'll notice up here, the left tab was automatically set by Microsoft Word to match where I had double clicked. And then also some hard returns have been used as well to get the cursor down where I wanted it to be. So I hope you'll try out this feature. Not very many people know about it, but that double click option can really be helpful when you're composing a Word document. Just a quick note for teachers and students. One way this comes in handy is when you're creating a worksheet. Maybe you wanna type in a series of words spread out throughout a page, and then the students have to circle all the words that are adjectives or whatever it might be. But it can be very helpful for creating worksheets or handouts, and then also for writing poetry. A lot of times teachers ask students to create shape poems or other kind of poetry that isn't laid out in a typical paragraph format. And this trick of double clicking where you want to add words is a great way to create those shape poems or other kinds of non-traditional text documents. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel.